Good morning, guys. It has been a long while since I last made a YouTube video. Okay, I don't know why when I turned my camera on, I immediately started spinning circles, but I'm stopped now. Anywho, today is my first day of no longer working at Bush Gardens. Good morning. It is 10, 17 a.m. It is March 14th, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, it's Monday, March 14th. So daylight savings just happened yesterday. So um, yesterday was my last day at Bush. It was supposed to be the 16th, but um, we're the park is closed on Monday and Tuesday. So we were just like, mm, why am I going in for those extra two days? For no reason. So <clears throat> um, I leave Virginia altogether on Wednesday morning. But as of right now, trying to get rid of the little bit of groceries I still have. So I'm boiling eggs. There are two in there. I still have four more. Um, going away gift is like they got, they brought donuts. So I have donuts in there, but I have two. I had three all together. I ate one yesterday, so I'm gonna eat one today and save the one, the last one for tomorrow. But in the fridge, I have these cucumbers that I am soaking in vinegar, salt, um, it's sea salt, I think, and pepper. Super good, my favorite childhood snack. I've learned how to make it on my own. I also have some garlic, um, some whole garlic cloves in there as well. Some Alani New Energy drinks I have three left i'm about to drink one it's already out over here but i got like a whole box from target I actually bought two boxes and then i didn't drink them every day because i didn't need them um so i have three left and i'm just like okay how am i gonna drink all three of those so i i'm drinking one today which leaves those three i'll drink one tomorrow which leaves two And tomorrow's Tuesday. And that's like a whole other schedule in itself. These two bags are filled with biscottis. By filled, I mean there's now like three and a half total because I finally ate half of one last night. One bag is for me and one bag is for my friend Christian because he loves biscotti. And so um, as a parting gift, I'm gifting him some biscotti. And things are expensive, but they are good. He gave me a biscotti of his once, um, but I guess it was like black licorice flavored and I like hated it. And I felt so bad because I told him, I was like, yeah, I didn't like it because he gave it to me for my birthday. Um, and I was like, yeah, I didn't really like that. I don't like it tasted like black licorice. And so um, I got him some, I got him lemon almond and um, English toffee. And then the ones that I have are cookies and cream. And I don't know, I bought mine like days ago and I just bought his yesterday. But they came from this little cute cafe called Aromas in Williamsburg. And that's where um, like breakfast. Also, I just got out of the shower, so, um, but I didn't moisturize my face while my face is ashy and I should go put some moisturizer on because I can feel it I'm just dry. But um, it's this cute little cafe and the, uh, the what is it? No sugar mocha coffee smoothie is really good. Oh, it doesn't say what kind of disguise. Anywho, so, oh. He just looked at it. So I have cookies and cream and then I have this zebra one. Um, so I went with the ones that I was like, mm, I, I have a high chance of liking those. Whereas his, I don't want to touch them with my bare hands, even though I just got out of the shower. I did touch other stuff prior to this. But he has, like I said, lemon almond and English toffee. Um, I did check in with him yesterday though to see which ones he liked, but we're going to Des Moines Sheep today. 
and um, that'll be the last time I get to see my friend. Um, fun story, that's probably not that fun, but it's fun for me. I got thrown in on a show and that's how we met. But like, um, I got thrown in on a show, I had to learn in a matter of days and I like was sitting in his chair in the booth, but he wasn't in the booth. So I was sitting in the chair and then he came to the booth and I was like, oh, I'll give you your chair back momentarily. He was like, oh, you're good. And so then I, um, the show started and I felt bad for sitting, for still being in his chair. So I literally slid his chair over to the other side of the booth. And I was like, here, you can have your chair back, here you go. And he just like silently laughed. And, um, whoa, does home girl know that this ain't supposed to have mold in it? And so um, from that point on, our friendship bloomed. Hi guys, I am in the airport. I look a hot mess. Um, I didn't realize how bad I looked until like I seen my reflection in the door when I got to the airport, but it is um, nine o'clock at night or maybe 10. I forgot to look at the time before starting this video, but I'm in the airport. I spent the day, today is Tuesday, by the way, it's Tuesday the 15th. I catch my flight in the morning for the 16th and the flight takes off at 8.03 a.m. But um, I am, today I spent, since I had already packed, I literally deflated my air mattress and I decided to leave it there because at first I was going to ship it back to Texas, but that was going to be like an extra stop in my Uber to go to the post office and then I was going to have to pay to ship it. Ship it. And it would have been cheaper to just buy another one, the exact same one, because I got it off of Amazon and I would get it in two days anyway. So if I ever needed another one. But, um, so I deflated it, folded it up, put it in the closet, emptied out the room, cleaned up the bathroom, um, and literally finished, I don't know if I told y'all for yesterday's vlog, um, that I started watching Snowdrop, which is a K-drama. But I watched literally 11 episodes yesterday. I didn't go to sleep until four after 4.30 this morning. Um, and then I had to get up at eight and have a Korean lesson. Oh, y'all missed out on a lot, by the way. So I'll, I'll double back to that at some point. But um, then I went back to finishing Snowdrop and I was, I like just started episode 16 when like the neighbors, they were getting like, they're getting like the satellite TV installed or whatever. And the people working on it cut the cable line. So my Wi-Fi went out and like I, the only reason I stayed in the house that long today was because I just needed to, I don't have, I didn't have Disney Plus, and so, um, but my roommate did, so I was just using her Disney Plus account, and I was like, this is the last thing I'm watching here in Virginia, I'm not about to go buy Disney Plus, just so I can finish off this, um, because it's a Disney Plus original K-drama, so now I was like, I'm not gonna go buy Disney Plus just for this, but you know what, since they cut my, cut the cable cord, the cable line, Wi-Fi went out. I was like, you know what? I'm ready. I got all my stuff packed. I'm literally just here wasting time. Also because I'm gonna be here all night. <laughs> um, so I was like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and go. And so I uh, ordered my Uber. I came here and while I was in the Uber, I, I downloaded and subscribed to Disney Plus. To a Disney Plus account and finished off that series for the ride. Um, I lived an hour from the airport, which was super important because up here we have underwater tunnels. Um, so, and then like the tunnel that we would have to go through, they were extending or widening the tunnels. So they tend to, and they already 
have like a lot of traffic going through those tunnels but it's even more because there's construction now and so I originally ordered a lift for 5 15 in the morning but it was going to cost me $200 and it did not guarantee me a ride which is the only reason I'm here and staying at the airport all night I shipped my car back to Texas already so I don't I didn't have any transportation um and then my roommate went on tour a few days ago so she wasn't there to take me to the airport or to bring me to the airport so um but then I was like, well, since I can't count on the lift, I'm not guaranteed my ride at 515, especially because we lived like in like an area where Uber and Lyft is very rare. So it's like during normal day hours, Uber doesn't start picking up out there until 10 and 11 o'clock in the morning. Um, Lyft is there like never and most of the Uber drivers are Lyft drivers as well. So it, I just wasn't gonna get a ride and I couldn't trust that because I could not miss my flight. So I was like, I'm gonna just go Tuesday night. I'll stay there for 12 hours, get on a plane and skedaddle, you know, you know. So anyways, that was my day today. So I'm currently sitting here at the airport. Um, where I'm sitting, it's like when you first, first enter and you have your check-in lane. Now, I checked in this morning, um, but I am checking a, a suitcase. And so, I want to be down here. I don't want to go upstairs and then have to come back downstairs just to put it in my suitcase and then go back upstairs. But when I got here, like, all the employees were getting off, like, the, um, the, areas where you would go to security the gates are all closed so like the airport's closed right now um so i'm just sitting here with some stuff but i'm like sitting here i wrote down my flight info um i'm not near a um any outlets I look for some I may have to go upstairs when my phone gets low for some but um I am not near any outlets so I wrote down that information just in case if like I ever get lazy or what have you since I already checked in it's not a big deal but then like if I can't get my phone charged fast enough then um I can just go print out my boarding pass and put my suitcase up on the, on the little scale thingy, let them take it, and then I can go on about my business. And I wouldn't need my phone for that. So, anywho, that's where I am now, or this is what I'm doing now. So, very empty. Lots of people, well, by lots, I literally mean they're trickling in like that, where it's like a few people at a time. But they're like, get people that are getting off of flights late flights and are just leaving the airport like all of the airport security that was like walking back and forth down here for the for the first hour that i was here um are not here anymore like i watched them clock out grab their stuff and go so when i say this airport is closed closed it's closed closed i'm gonna go find me an outlet at some point right now my battery's at like 68% though, so I'm good. Okay, and I'll keep you guys updated. Quick check-in, guys. First of all, I just took a picture of myself on accident, so <laughs> whoops. But it is 1.05 a.m. I'm still at the airport because, well, you know, my plane does not take off until 8.03 but I've migrated up the stairs. I actually went to the restroom. I spent an hour in there because there's an outlet in there and I was letting my phone charge. So it was fully charged. Now I'm down to like 90%, but this is also like two hours ago. So <laughs> um, I'm laying here watching AT's videos on YouTube, but yeah, I'm like, out of energy dead tired i literally took like a 20 second nap and when i say 20 second nap i mean 20 second nap because that like a like about three planes landed 
And so then everybody and their mamas and their daddies and their kids and their captains and their flight attendants all got off the planes and then we're walking through this area. And I'm like, for this, I wish I stayed downstairs. But also, I couldn't lay down downstairs. I'm literally laying on the couch. But like, I have my um, lunch bag, my blanket, my jacket, my purse is actually under me. I'm laying on top of it. And then my suitcase, in which I have to, 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 I still have to go downstairs when everybody else, like all of the airport employees get there so that I can submit my bag to them or my suitcase to them. But there are the escalators to the downstairs. I literally came upstairs and got on the first couch. So, and then I have this lovely plant behind me. And then there are these, like this, this airport has like a gnat problem at the moment. <sighs> Don't look at my, my pimples. Listen, these are, these are my, this is how I know I ovulated, okay? So, mind your business. But, um, the airport, like, has a gnat problem. I, like, killed three gnats thus far. And that may not seem like a lot, but I mean, like, they're, like, I just, it's, things like that. It's, like, the moment one touches me, my skin is gonna crawl until I can take a shower. And get it all off so for the simple fact that I have killed three the third one didn't even touch me as far as I know I just seen it fly in front of me and I was like we gonna cut this shit out right now so anywho's I'm in the airport uh chilling like a villain who just made a killing on penicillin good morning guys the time is now 2 40 a.m I know, I was trying to wait till three to hop on. I think it just be a full two hours since I last got on, but I'm like slowly but surely losing steam with like pressure every couple minutes. I'm wondering if I could just like go to sleep for two seconds. By two seconds, I literally mean like an hour or two. So I get to sleep now. Two hours later, it'll be five o'clock, in which I could I should be able to check my suitcase in at that time and get some breakfast. Maybe I was wondering. I was like, maybe if I like set a timer, I can like take like a ten minute, twenty minute nap. But like that's just such a tease, and it's gonna piss me off and. I already know my mom's gonna like pick me up from the airport and then try to take me all over Houston and I'm like cool so like no I'd rather just go home and go to sleep so that I can be rather refreshed whenever I go to Houston and meet everybody else for whatever reason <sighs> so here we are see y'all the next go round Yeah.